So we're going to review how to upload a GIF into Canvas. Here, if we have an assignment, in this case, we're submitting our GIF. So we're going to click Submit Assignment. And then the Rich Content Editor window pops up down here. So what we're going to do is enter the GIF right into this spot. How do we do that? Well, there's some code here included in the assignment. This address, this URL right here. I'm just going to copy that and then paste it. And then in place of the file ID, I'm going to click on the GIF that we just made. I'm going to click Get Link. And there's a chunk of code here that starts after the D, right, from slash to slash, in between those slashes. And that's my file ID. And I'm going to paste that right here over the file ID. And I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to cut it. And then under all of our choices here, you want to insert or edit media. I'm going to put in my source. Click OK. Oops. I'm going to embed image. Excuse me. Click. So to get the GIF into this rich content editor, we click embed image. Under the URL, we're going to paste that code that we have. You can click here around and make different edits. It's already at 600 by 600 pixels. I'm going to update that, and that's going to upload the GIF. Now, for our class, I'm asking you to ex explain, um, give an explanation, I should say, of your inspiration. In other words, what were you thinking when you made this? How did, how does it connect to you? And in this case, how does this connect to the idea of the biggest lesson you've learned with money so far? So I'm just going to say um, this is a phrase that I have heard often, which I have. And I chose a piggy bank to imply that we should save even small amounts of money since change and small denominations of currency, right? Small, <laughs> I could have said pennies, nickels, and dimes. These small coins are kept in a piggy bank. So my point is to say that, listen, I chose a piggy bank to imply that we should save even small amounts of money since change and small denominations of currency are, are kept in a piggy bank. I'm going to say, I don't, like, I, don't like, I don't like how that sounds. Change and small denominations of currency are kept in a piggy bank showing that every little amount is important. Now, why why is this what I'm sharing? Well, there are a couple of reasons, I guess lots of reasons, but the two main ones are the two main reasons I chose this are the current pandemic and opportunity cost. Now, if you're new to the personal finance course, maybe you're not thinking about words like opportunity cost. That's okay. Uh, you would explain it in whatever way makes, makes sense to you. And here, I'm going to elaborate just a little bit, a couple of sentences. I'm going to say, during the pandemic, people have had to rely on their savings and with opportunity cost, every amount you spend is a lost opportunity to save or grow your money or put it towards something you need. Now, if you said that to me, I would... I would assume that you understand what opportunity cost is, but the idea is if you spend your money in one direction, you can't spend it in another. And that's an idea we're going to discuss a lot in this course. Um, and I would ask that if you're writing this, you would give an ex a, a precise explanation. For example, so whatever you're saying, give an example. If you spend 20000 
dollars on a car instead of fifteen thousand, you are losing the ability to invest or save the five thousand dollar difference, or at the or or save that amount. So we'll go over this in the class, but when you choose the more expensive option, not only are you spending more money, not only are you losing the ability to save that difference, but you're losing the ability to invest or grow that difference, right? So here we're gonna submit the assignment. I'm gonna take a screenshot so people can see this. I'm gonna zoom out here. Uh, I think that's good. Uh, this is actually a little hard to take a screenshot of, so I'm going to bear with me here. I'm going to click this, the embed image, and I'm going to reduce the size. I'm going to say 200 by 200. Let's see if that looks better. Nice. So here, that's a much smaller GIF. I'm just going to take a screenshot so that students can see what the final uh, assignment looks like. And we're done. Thanks.